Cigars are a timeless indulgence enjoyed by enthusiasts worldwide for their rich flavors and complex aromas. Particularly, Cuban cigars are considered top of the line, and a typical box of Habanos can go for thousands of dollars. But over the last 25 years, cigars from the Caribbean and Central America have become comparable in quality, consistency, and cost. So how are cigars made and what makes them so expensive? From the cultivation of tobacco to the final product, a good quality cigar goes through 500 manual tasks. That's a lot of manual labor. Especially in an era where everything is automated, no wonder the prices are so high. And the journey of this highly priced delicacy begins on the tobacco farm. Ideal growing conditions, including the right soil, climate, and altitude, play a crucial role in producing high quality tobacco. Broadly, a cigar is made up of the following types of tobacco leaves. The harrow leaves come from the top part of the tobacco plant and receive the most sunlight. These leaves are known for their strength and full-bodied flavor. The harrow contributes to the overall power of the cigar, providing a robust and intense smoking experience. Secco leaves are located in the middle section of the tobacco plant. They are characterized by a milder flavor compared to Lijero and are known for their aromatic qualities. Secco leaves contribute to the overall bouquet of the cigar, enhancing its aroma and providing a nuanced and complex smoking experience. Volato leaves come from the bottom part of the tobacco plant and receive the least sunlight. These leaves are responsible for the combustibility of the cigar. Volato burns quickly and helps keep the cigar lit. While Volato leaves may not contribute as much to the flavor and aroma as Lijero and Seco, their role in maintaining a consistent burn is crucial for the overall smoking experience. The binder is a thin elastic leaf that wraps the filler tobacco, holding it together. The binder leaf plays a significant role in the structural integrity of the cigar. It must be pliable enough to allow for proper rolling, yet strong enough to maintain the cigar's shape. The wrapper leaf is the outermost layer of the cigar and is responsible for much of its visual appeal. While it does contribute to the overall flavor, it is typically milder in taste compared to the filler leaves. The wrapper is crucial for the aesthetics of the cigar, influencing its color, texture, and overall presentation. Tobacco plants through which these leaves are sourced go through several stages of growth before they are ready for harvest. Skilled farmers monitor the plants closely, ensuring that the leaves are picked at the right time to achieve the desired flavor profile. Harvesting is a manual process as the delicate leaves need to be handled with care to prevent damage. After harvesting, the tobacco leaves undergo a curing process. Curing involves air drying the leaves to reduce their moisture content gradually. The leaves are cured when they have passed from bright green flexible fresh leaves to dried brown or yellowish leaves. Chemically, the naturally occurring chlorophyll in the leaf gradually breaks down and is replaced by carotene. To cure, the harvested plants are strung to narrow strips of wood called laths. The laths are hung from the ceiling of a well-ventilated curing barn. In dry weather, they may cure simply by hanging, a process called air curing. The leaves may also be flue-cured. In this method, the laths are hung in a small barn which is heated from 32 to 77 degrees Celsius. The temperature must be carefully monitored in order to event extreme rapid drying. Sawdust or hardwood may also be burned in the curing barn to aid in drying the leaves and impart an aroma. Once cured, the tobacco leaves enter the fermentation stage. This process helps eliminate undesirable compounds, enhances flavor, and gives the tobacco its characteristic aroma. The leaves are stacked in piles known as pilones. These pilones create an environment conducive to fermentation. Heat and pressure naturally build up within the pilones due to microbial activity. However, the right temperature and humidity levels must be maintained for the fermentation process to proceed optimally. Regular turning of the pilones is another crucial step in the fermentation process. This involves rearranging the tobacco leaves within the polones to ensure that the fermentation is uniform. Turning helps distribute heat and moisture, preventing uneven fermentation and promoting the development of desired flavors and aromas. After fermentation, the tobacco leaves are sorted and classified based on their size, shape, and quality. This meticulous process ensures that only the finest leaves make it into the final product. Leaves designated for the filler, binder, and wrapper are separated at this stage. Together, the Lijero, Seco, and Volato leaves make up the filler material of the cigar. Master workers roll these leaves carefully to achieve the desired flavor profile. This is difficult work and it may take a year for a roller to become proficient. The filler must be packed evenly for the cigar to burn smoothly. Scaled torcedores or cigar rollers sit at small tables with a tray of sorted tobacco leaves on it and space to roll out the cigar. First, the worker selects from two to six leaves for the filler. These are placed one on top of the other and rolled into a bunch. 
Then the worker places the bunch on the binder leaf and rolls the binder leaf cylindrically around the filler. The unfinished cigars are placed in an open wooden mold that holds them in shape until they can be wrapped. Next, the torcedores apply the wrapper leaves, carefully stretching and molding them to create a seamless finish. This is the most difficult step. The worker takes the partially completed cigar out of the mold and places it on the wrapper leaf. With a special rounded knife called a chiveta, the worker trims off any irregularities from the filler. Then the worker rolls the wrapper leaf around the filler and binder three and a half times and secures it at the end with a small amount of vegetable paste. The worker then cuts a small round piece out of a different wrapper leaf. This is sometimes done by tracing around a coin. This circle is then attached to the end of the cigar with paste. They say that this job is truly an art, a craft that is not taught in any school but is transmitted from one generation to another. This is considered a natural talent, a time-honored craft. These days, most torcedores are women. Aside from hand rolling, cigars may also be machine rolled. Although cigars made by machines are considered inferior to handmade cigars, they still cater to the growing market and more and more companies have begun to rely on machines to meet their production quotas. A typical cigar machine may require several workers to tend to its different functions. One worker feeds tobacco leaves onto a feed belt between guide bars that are adjusted for the length of cigar desire. The machine bunches the leaves, forming the filler. A second worker places the binder leaf onto the binder die. The leaf is held down by suction and the machine cuts it to the proper size. The filler then drops onto the binder die. The machine rolls the binder around the filler. A third worker places the wrapper leaf on a wrapper die. The partially completed cigar drops onto the wrapper die and the machine rolls the wrapper around the cigar. A fourth worker inspects the completed cigars and places them in trays. Once the wrapper is applied, both machine and handmade cigars are shaped and pressed to ensure a consistent size and firmness. This step helps the cigar maintain its structural integrity and contributes to an even burn. The shaped cigars pass then through a series of inspections. They are first separated into bundles of around 50 cigars and are labeled according to Vitpola or size, name of the cigar maker, and date. The bundles of cigars are then weighed. Each bundle must conform to a particular weight, otherwise it will show that the cigars are either too tight or too loose. This is a critical element in cigar making, because cigars that are wrapped too tight will not be able to draw smoke easily while cigars that are wrapped too loose will burn too hot. After passing the strict weighing procedure, the cigars are individually inspected. Cigars that do not pass the evaluation are sold as second-class cigars. Cigars are not ready for consumption just yet. They undergo a crucial aging process allowing the different tobacco components, allowing the different tobacco components to harmonize and mellow. This process usually takes place inside cedar bins, shelves, or drawers. The duration of aging varies, with some cigars requiring a few months, while others benefit from several years of aging in carefully controlled environments. Cigars are checked for quality during each step of the manufacturing process. The quality of the tobacco leaves is very important, and leaves are sorted and inspected after curing, after fermentation, and before they are made into cigars. As mentioned before, the finished cigars must be checked for consistent diameter, weight, size, and draw, which is a measure of how well smoke can be sucked through them and for any imperfections in the wrapper or in the shape. Cigar factories employ personnel to maintain the manufacturing machinery so that cigar measurements are consistent. In many smaller tobacco factories, the final inspections are done by eye. A worker places cigars through a ring to check diameter and measures their length with a ruler. Appearance is critical to the individual cigar, and a box of cigars must also be inspected so that at least the top layer is consistent in color. The quality of the wrapping must be inspected for hand-rolled cigars. The veins of the wrapper should appear in a uniform spiral, and the leaf must be smooth and top. Once the cigars have passed quality control, they are carefully packaged. Premium cigars often come in ornate boxes or cedar-lined containers. The packaging serves not only as a protective measure, but also contributes to the overall experience of enjoying a fine cigar. That was all about how cigars are made. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love this one.